hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, and, geez, I'm not even sure if this is using the right mic, but I think it is, <clears throat> so we're just going to roll with it. Last episode, I did a normal run, so this time it's time for a challenge. Oh, this is a tough choice. <clears throat> I'm thinking that I'll go with uh, seven years bad luck. Because this is almost a standard run. So this this starts you out with uh, minimum luck. And it also... There are treasure item rooms. There are item rooms in this run. But there's a chance that they won't spawn. So we have the basement XL here. <clears throat> which means that there will be, or there should be, two item rooms. And both will require a key. There's a small chance, or I don't actually know how big the chance is. There's a chance that we will only have one item room. There's a chance that we'll have no item rooms. Regardless, they will take keys. So mostly, uh, gotta hope to be lucky. And actually get both of them and get the keys I need to uh, access both of them. That's bad damage. That's worse damage, though. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use the pill now. Puberty. Absolutely nothing. Gave me those hairs. That's a reasonably accurate description of puber puberty. So, mostly, I want a key drop, I want two key drops, and I want to find the item rooms. Well, that that's a hard drop. That's not really almost a key drop. But I'll take it to get... Back to full health. Oh, had I known there'd be a blood bank here. That is a scent. Didn't mean to play that. Ugh. It's almost my bedtime, by which I mean it's 11.45 and I'll probably be going to bed in four hours, but... Well, three hours. Let's, let's be reasonable here. These are just... These are not key drops, and I desperately need keys. And item rooms that I don't even know exist right now. Okay, thanks. Thanks, game. You are just... you are killing it right now. Yeah, I don't care enough to go back to the blood bank. I know, not optimal play. Which is usually something I try to, uh... advocate strongly. Yet here I am. But, oh well. Not a huge deal. Unless, of course, there are no freaking item rooms. Okay, that's a key. And there's an item room. Oh, I didn't notice that it opened the uh, secret room. Otherwise, I definitely would have gone in. I have three bombs, so I can I can do it myself. <sighs> well, item room. What is it? It's an attack fly. Forever alone, so it's far away, rotates around me, does pretty good damage. We'll see what's in the item room. Or the secret room. Spider bite. So uh, every shot I shoot has a chance to slow the enemy. It's decent. So now we're just looking for the uh, other item room and the key. May as well fight the boss. It's the basement, it's not like it's hard. Alright, Soul Heart. Hopefully I won't lose that. First boss is Famine. So the way we're gonna roll with this is we're gonna do this. Oof! Oh, that was beautiful. Do you see how much damage I just did? Now that's how you use Forever Alone. Now if I get him slowed, that's really great because that means his shots will travel more slowly and uh, it'll be hard or easier to dodge them, harder for him to hit me. Item drop is a cube of meat. Cube of meat uh, rotates around me, protects me from enemy tears. And uh, does pretty decent damage. Didn't mean to pick that up. But whatever. Got a health up here. Got to find the other item room. Hopefully it exists. Uh, we might get a second health up from this Eternal Heart if I don't uh, botch it. That means I can't go back to the Blood Bank since uh, Blood Bank will take an Eternal Heart before it'll take anything else. <clears throat> so, that's the situation we're in. I love using the Attack Fly. Like, when you, when you get that good circle going, right speed, everything... Just, you just shred through enemies. 
All right, rusted key. Oh, get out of there. Um, rusted key increases the drop rate of both keys and golden chests. I think it's golden chests and not regular chests, but uh, could be wrong. Super uh, normal lust. I really hope you drop a key upon completion of this room, because uh, kind of hurting here. Okay, poison touch. When we uh, touch an enemy, it'll do significant damage and poison them. And this pill, it's got to be bombs or key. Oh my god. That was the luckiest pill we could have gotten. For pretty much an item we don't very much need at all. But we'll pick up Monstrous Tooth. It's a space bar item. It'll tide us over until we get something good. Ugh. It summons Monstro to jump on an enemy. It will hurt us if we walk into him. That's about it. We will get the health up from the Eternal Heart. And we'll go on to the caves slash catacombs. Hopefully the caves. Hey, maybe even XL. I wouldn't mind. Uh, when you have lower luck, you might have a higher chance to uh, get a curse for a floor. But I'm not... I, I don't remember if I'm making that up or not. <clears throat> but we got the caves, and that is exactly what I want to see from this game. Tarot card, death. Significant damage to every enemy in the room. Verbatim how I say that every time. Uh, and this is definitely how I'm dealing with these guys. Because that was like safe and easy. Okay. You guys are going to leave me alone. And that's that room. I shouldn't have taken damage, but I did. Something about what it do, but it did, but it do. I don't know. I don't remember the quote. I don't even remember what I'm trying to quote here at all. So we're just gonna we're gonna ignore it. All right, you get out of my face. That's an easy room, though. Uh, do we fight the boss? Yeah, why not? Fistula. Up. Oh. Didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, we'll use Monster now. It wasn't that effective, but you know what? It's not a very effective item. Let's let's just be honest here. Lucky not to take damage there. No, never mind. It was all skill. It was intended, and oh man, you gotta be faster than I just was. Basically, when you take a hit, when you have Poison Touch, you need to just run into an enemy so that you can. Uh, get as many, you like, run into as many enemies as you can so you can get uh, poison on everything and significant damage while you're still invincible from taking a hit. <clears throat> High level Isaac strategy. Maybe mid level Isaac strategy. See what's in here? The Ankh. Eternal life? Man, I don't know. But I do know that uh, when we die we'll respawn as blue baby. And that's, that's all it does. Well, when we die, rather, if we die. I don't plan on it. And I only have to I only have to beat mom in this challenge, I'm pretty sure. So like I ain't even worried. And we did find the uh, item room. So that means it exists, fortunately for us. Let's see what's in here. Spider butt. Yeah, I'll take that over uh, monstrous tooth. Spider butt will slow every enemy in the room, and uh, it'll be like a mini Necronomicon, so it won't significantly damage everyone, but it will damage every enemy in the room. And I'm out of keys. Something that uh, needs to be fixed. Maybe he'll drop one, or maybe this chest will drop one. Hey, it actually did. I will visit the shop. Let's see what we got. Nun's habit? Why not? For seven cents. And a soul heart, I would definitely take that. And I don't want the tarot card because death's actually pretty good. Oh, I'm just yawning non-stop, but like I've said in another video, it is my hobby. Oh. I'm just walking into everyone right now. And then suddenly I do uh, MLG level strafe here. Cube of meat uh, putting 
putting in some work, though. Not like I'm uh, dodging infallibly for for now. I'm just, uh... It's just going well. And so uh, I didn't explain the nun's habit. What the nun's habit does is every time you take a hit, you'll get a half of a recharge for your item. So, as in, I'll get three bars of recharge for an item, my space bar item, every time I take a hit. All right, let's let's do that. Super pride, ain't even mad. Yeah, ain't even mad. Should be a pretty easy fight. Hopefully, it doesn't spawn any more troll bombs. And uh, it gives me its drop, which is the dead cat, which I most certainly do not want. Like, what a silly drop to give super pride. Like, eh, whatever. Dead cat there, I don't have the D6, so I can't re-roll it. But, you know, it's the thought that counts, I guess. <clears throat> if dead cat didn't take me all the way down to one red heart, I would pick it up. But, it, but it don't. Curse of darkness, that means I cannot see the uh, map. Eh, let's, let's do it that way. No man, no man. No mad. Nomads are an enemy in Borderlands 2. Which is like definitely where I'm gonna spend my time playing when I finish this. Alright, this is this is an annoying room, but I I already avoided all the difficulty. And it took a hit anyway, that's pretty typical. Oh yeah, I just I already avoided the part where I should take damage in this room and then I take damage. When I shouldn't. But you know, who to whom doesn't that happen? Alright, we get another item room. This this is good luck. Cause like I said, there's a chance that there's no item room on any given floor. And we've gotten all of them. Which is like definitely good. I uh, sacrificed a hit there and it was kinda stupid. Uh, I guess that doesn't damage. I'm almost dead. I need to, uh, come on, step it up. I almost took another hit there. Cuban meets my bro. Okay, come on. You can do this. Okay, two key drops. Let's see what's in the item room. Hopefully I don't die, because this is like, this is an easy challenge. Wiggle worm. That's totally useless. I'll pick it up anyway. Makes my shots do this here S curve. It's pretty, pretty bad totally useless in 100% of situations. Okay, 99% of situations. I'm sure there's some time where you can, like, curve the bullet, curve it around a rock. Of course, I'm referencing a wanted there. But anyway, I'm sure you can curve it around a rock or something like that and make yourself useful, but in general, totally useless no reason I'd ever want to pick it up. Uh, why don't we check out the shop? It isn't greed, which is uh, all I can hope to say. So my item already recharges uh, in two rooms. So I don't really need that battery there. I'll just pick up the uh, one heart and the one soul heart. Be on my way. With uh, that item room handled, that damage taken, Taken, good movie. Taken two, gonna be uh, pretty sweet. And uh, bleh. okay, well that's what I figured would happen. Red chests are uh, rarely good, but they can be. They totally can be. All right, I'm getting a lot of coin drops, strangely enough, and not a lot of golden chest drops. Also, strangely enough. Okay, I don't have any reason to actually bother going in there. Nope, you keep your filthy tears off of me. Of course that didn't work. Let's skip balls of steel or bad trip. That is not something that I could go for right now. I will spend all of my money in the arcade. Which isn't saying much, but I'll do it. I'll do it, let me tell you. I wouldn't mind getting skate toll like right away. Hey! So now flies are neutral towards me. 
they won't damage me, they will just charge at me and try to party with me. Good times, I'd say. Alright, we'll get a second cube of meat here. Oh, nope, nope, this is a uh, Pestilence. This is pretty much what he does, he also spawns Chargers and Spitties. But for the most part, this is this whole fight. Oh, oh. Narrowly escaped from the uh, clutches of damage. And as you see, red flies turn into black flies, which can't hurt you in the first place. But no flies can hurt me, I assure you. <sighs> so this fight went well so far. I'm assuming I'm not going to take damage, since the flies ain't even a threat. Note I don't usually say ain't in my uh, speech, but... I seem to do that a lot here. I, I promise I speak a lot better, a lot more uh, properly in my real life. So second cube of meat, same effect, but now he shoots with me. Like a boss. So let's go on in the depths. Depths one, I'm cool with that. Room full of globins and gazing globins. Yeah, that's possibly tricky. It's tricky. But no, it's, it's, it's not that kind of tricky. Alright, spider butt, doing work. Do work. Okay, we're gonna... Oh yeah, these guys also go slower when I have skate toll. So you know, they're, they're like bros. They're like, hey man, I know you don't really want to deal with us, so uh, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just slow on down so it's easier to, easier to hit us. So we have a bad trip pill again, but this time I know what it is, so that means it's useful. Because when you get down to one half of a red heart, bad trip, or one full red heart, bad trip becomes full health, which means I'll play this and hopefully get a blood bank. Blood bag. I will play the blood bank and win a blood bank. No, I'll win a blood bag. Or I darn well better, because this is a waste of my bad trip full health pill. Ah, uh, well. I may have to come back for that. I've already invested too much of my life into it. Literally. Three champions here, so... Four drops. Not bad. Not bad. Not fighting the Bows. I will play this one more time. And win. Nice. So, uh, Blood Bag increases my health by one. Increases my max speed by one. Recovers four health. Of course, I only need to recover a half a heart, so it doesn't matter. But that's what it does. All right, I'm getting plenty of money drops. I will visit the shop, even if I don't get 15 cents. Oh well, time to put my money where my mouth is. Almost literally for once. Amazing, I didn't take damage there, but I'm gonna go ahead and say I planned it. Uh, so ladder is no longer useful. But I will most certainly take this soul heart and uh, uh, the hermit. Okay. Well, I can use that next floor. Of course, I could have saved my money for uh, the shop next floor. But usually, I expect to see greed. The later in the game you get, the more likely greed is to show up. And uh, this effect is compounded if you have a lot of money. Or just more money. The more money you have. Another thing, like I was saying about Wiggle Worm, maybe it's useful in that there's the whatever small chance that it'll go straight around a rock and hit the enemy you need it to. There's also a chance, a pretty, a far more uh, significant chance that it will just hit the rock you're trying to throw it around. And yeah, I throw my tears with my face. You know. Guts are some of the easiest enemies, and I love fighting them. I I appreciate that they're a late game thing. Okay, now I'm getting the key drops. I'm starting to get worried about the uh, item room that may or may not exist, but gotta have faith. There's still the rest of this pathway. Oh, that was bad damage. That's a bomb. Okay, this is, oh god, more bad damage. Just gonna, we're just gonna circle strafe, 
Circle strafing is always the answer. No reverse circle sway. It's swaif. Circle swaif. Circle strafe, anyway. And, uh, you know, we just switched the sine and the cosine in our, uh, our, uh, parametric. And we do, after all, get the item room, and in it we find Halo of Flies. Pretty useful. Halo of Flies gives me two flies that rotate around me. So I now have a full ring of three protection, that's the most you can get. And uh, one of them is a cube of meat, so that's always nice. I like uh, my cube of meat. We good buddies. And, <coughs> and it is time to fight the boss. So there's only uh, two places I probably missed it. It's got, oh, it is this one. Luckiest man alive. So we got greed here. Not too worried. Full, mer full ring of protection will uh, block me from most of his shots. And he'll drop steam sail, which means I only need seven cents to make the next shot viable. And I will almost certainly get that. That means I'm less likely to run into greed since I'll have less money. So this is turn around nicely. Uh, this boss, Monstro 2. Monstro 2 is a uh, great time because I can do this for the whole fight. He will be locked in uh, alternating shooting his laser back and forth. And provided I don't suck at timing, which is uh, usually I don't, for this at least, I won't get hit and he won't lose his rhythm. didn't learn this uh, strategy for a long time, but still, I didn't think Monster 2 was a hard fight. I just thought it was an annoying one. This makes it a lot, a lot faster. You can even do this when there are two or three Monster 2s. It's great. So we got a Mom's Coin Purse that spawns four random pills. Two Soul Hearts here. Let's see what we get since we don't have a choice in the matter. I found pills. Doesn't, doesn't help me at all. Bad trip. Health down. Bombs are key. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the ones I have. Do I want the Hermit? No, I have enough keys. I'll stick with Bad Trip since it's it's full health. But I'm a little upset with the, that health down. So, I could play the Blood Bank, but since I have Soul Hearts, uh, Bad Trip won't turn into full health unless I lose them. Sucks to be me. So I don't even have to worry about these flies. They are uh, not not threatening to me, so I will destroy all of the poop. Uh. And uh, once again, we're looking for the item room. Well, once again. More like, as always. And uh, these guys, these are really annoying guys. That guy almost did like MLG uh, movement prediction. And that somehow hit me. I thought I would dodge it. Whatever. I'm not really... I'm not hurting yet. Also, for deals with the devil, which I haven't yet gotten, um, damage, like, taking no damage on the floor and taking no damage on the boss, uh, increase your chance of getting a deal with the devil. But, um, as most people don't know, or a lot of people don't know, I shouldn't say most, because I don't know. Maybe they all know, and I was late to the party. But um, damage you take to your soul hearts doesn't count, so you can take all the soul heart damage you want and still get a deal with the devil, like increase chances as if you hadn't taken damage. I don't know if that applies to Blue Baby, but if it does, you're just like way more likely to get a deal with the devil as Blue Baby, which is totally cool. Uh, so yeah, definitely going to pick up the candle. Candle is the best item in the game candle does is that and that fire does like incredibly high damage um, can hit enemies that aren't even there to be hit and I mean that like it can hit mom or mom's heart it'll hit mom when if you know what I mean uh, no it'll hit mom when uh, you shoot it at the doors the doors uh, that, even when they don't have the uh, eye th or stuff out, and with Mom's heart, if you just toss it in the middle of the 
place, the middle of the place, um, the middle of the room, it'll still hit her. So it's great. And it also recharges every one and a half seconds, so within a room it will recharge. Which is great as well. I just, I, I love this item. Favorite item in the game. I'll play this one more time since there's another high lane around. Screw you, buddy. May as well go to the arcade at some point, but I also don't feel like it. Still, if I'm accumulating all this uh, moolah, I'm wasting it. I don't even care. Though, it would be nice to get back that health I lost. Oh, well. Beggar, you're taking my money. Shut up and take my money. Drops a compass. Which actually doesn't matter anymore because, uh... Well, I know where the item room is and that it exists. But it doesn't matter anymore because this should be the last floor of the whole challenge. Though I guess I could do Shoal. Don't really want to that much. Although I have a candle. The candle makes makes it like... The candle makes everything worth just like, just go for it. Oh look, money that I really have no worth for. Yeah, why not? Speed and range. Definitely would rather not have used a chest, used a key, gone to a chest for that, and had to fight three waves of this. So like, that was a terrible, terrible item. Or terrible, terrible use of my key and time. But like I said, oh that was bad damage. Candle, make short work of a uh, air thing. Yeah, yeah. Just gotta make sure to use it like as frequently as possible. So now I'm not gonna bother with the. That just seems to be my go-to when uh, I don't know, remember what I'm trying to say. I don't know the word, which also seems to be a frequent occurrence in this let's play. Uh, anyway, I, I already forgot what I was talking about. So we're just moving on. Got plenty of bombs. And rusted key means I should have, like, butt tons of keys. Not really gonna complain about it, because I also don't really care about it. Nuns have it. Once again, worthless. Bad damage. Oh, I'm not gonna go back to the blood banks, because it ain't worth it. No. Keep your dirty mask away from me. Oh my god. I could die. I could die. Oh wait, I have the bad trip pill. That means I will live. Uh, the razor. Inflict damage. Increased damage. But I don't want it. Oh, this is the worst. Literally the worst fight. So what I'm doing is I'm going to camp. Camping hard. This is how you beat mom the right way. Ah, full health. And game over. Unlock a lucky toe, that is a trinket. Oh yeah, I can't go to Shoal because I don't have to fight mom's heart. So that's, uh, seven years bad luck, I think is what that's called. Oh, why can't I skip the, uh, credits this time. <coughs> oh, that felt good. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's that. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.